Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss epidemiology. It means that what is the social dimension of health. Epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinants of health and disease in different populations. Social epidemiology examines the social and cultural factors that contribute to health and disease. So, social factors such as poverty, education, and access to healthcare have significant impact on our health outcomes. So, health ko jo jis tarikhe se dekha jata hai society ke andar, epidemiology ki field ke andar, ye dekhna important hota hai ki disease ki bhi jo hai, wo apni dynamics hoti hai. It's not that disease is equally distributed among all the classes and among all different groups in the society. Jo disease ki apni ek epidemiology hai, wo different social or cultural factors ke upar dependent hoti hai. Misal ke taur pe, uh, it is interesting to see ke jo uh, lower caste ke log hoti hai, ya jo minority groups hoti hai, ya particularly jo low income groups hoti hai, unke andar jo contagious diseases hoti hai, wo zyada hoti hai, as compared to those who are in uh, high class uh, or people from the higher classes. Social epidemiology is concerned with understanding the social determinants of health and social distribution of disease and the social mechanisms that lead to different health disparities. Examples of social epidemiology in Pakistan include the higher rates of infectious diseases in poor and marginalized communities and its impact of social class on their health outcomes. So as you can see that these conditions which we find around these people from lower income groups, they have deplorable health conditions because of the health and hygiene or the or available surrounding for them which is hygienically not good and not comfortable for them. So, and in addition to that, unko jo access to healthcare hai, wo bhi us tarah se choke available nahi hoti hai. To interestingly, jo spread of disease hai, iske hawale se ye dekha jata hai, ke iske piche kya factors hai, kaun se aise causes ya reasons hai, jin ki wajah se hum ye dekh sakte hai, ke certain groups ke andar ek certain disease jo hai, wo zyada prevalent hoti hai, as compared to other groups. So, Food for thought for you uh, for this is ke aap Pakistan ke andar observe kare aur dekhe for example malaria hai ya dengue hai to iske hawale se agar aap thodi statistics compile kare aur aap isme dekhe ke kaun kaun se social groups hain jin ke andar ye disease jo hai wo zyada prevalent hoti hai ya ye infection jo hai iski wajah se wo log zyada hospitalized hote hain so it's a food for thought for you.